It's June 2nd, 2019. It's been really warm here in Seattle. Let's start the update over here with the ficus. You can see it's still not doing too well. Right here we have the elephant's bush. Looks like the leaves are coming back. And the frizzle sizzle, you can see the leaves are curly at this shorter length. Um, I think it's because that it's receiving more sunlight now. That's a good sign. And also, if you look at the bottom, um, you can see a little root growth. And let's look at the grapes. Um, doesn't look like uh, too much is going on. It's pretty much the same as last week. Lots of new growth. And let's also check the flower looking structure. Yeah, it still looks the same. Don't know if it's actually gonna flower though. But yeah, I'll keep you updated on that. The pineapple looks like the leaves have started to grow again. So that's a good sign. Hydrangea, this one looks very pink. So as the other flowers on this bush, if we look at the other hydrangea bushes right here, you can see it's a little more purplish. And down here, this one is pretty purple too, but then this one looks pretty pink, but it's from the same bush, so that's interesting. Um, and down here, it's even more towards blue, spec like the spectrum is more towards a blue color, so more purple. And then this oldest bush over here, looks like it's gonna be producing some pink to purple-ish flower. And then back here, we have the lavender. You can see the flower has opened. Um, hopefully it's gonna attract some bees. I haven't seen any bees on the lavender yet. Rosemary looks pretty much the same. Here we have the succulents, looks pretty much the same as well. Um, daffodil, you can see it's dying back now. Um, summer snowflake, peony, not too much going on. There's more bulb plants over here are dying back. Kalili, you can see this other half is catching up now. Um, not seeing any flowers yet. I think the flower comes after the leaves for Kalili. So yeah, I'll keep an eye out for it. The mulberry, um, pretty much the same too. The flower structure thing is still around. Um, it's probably gonna take a while for the fruit to develop. But overall, the leaves are all coming out nicely. Dahlia, right here you can see a single flower. And right here is a few more flower that's gonna come up. Wasting no time. <laughs> and here we have the Lily of the Valley. Um, some of the flowers I left um, are actually going to seed now. You can see some fruits over here. Those are actually very poisonous. They're gonna turn red when they mature. So I'll show them to you when it does mature. Right here we have the blueberry. All the fruits are now getting fuller down here you can see some bite marks from some sort of insects. Need to make sure it's not black vine weevil. It could be some sort of bee. Forgot the name, but yeah. The hyacinth, grape hyacinth, you can see they're all dying back now. Down here we have some wildflower. That's the California poppy and that's Lacey Facilia. Here's more blueberry. This one actually, I think these guys are going to turn into blueberries and these are probably not. You can see the fruits are not very getting fuller. Here we have the strawberries. Right here you can see a strawberry fruits. If you look at it closely, the shape is kind of deformed, but the size is pretty decent. And there's a little more um, strawberry fruits on the outer edge of the pot which I'm gonna show you right now. If you see it right here, here's one. It's a pretty decent size actually, and the shape isn't too bad, so yeah. And this is the first harvest uh, of the strawberries. Pretty decent amount. And also the strawberries is now producing the runners. So yeah, <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of strawberry plants again.
Let's look at this one too. Um, not seeing too many fruits over here. But yeah, I'm gonna keep harvesting the strawberries as uh, they mature. And then here we have the asparagus. You can see all the flowers. Um, yeah, it's pretty much the same as last week too. And the succulents over here are still producing a lot of flowers, attracting a lot of bees. And the raspberry, you can see this um, this uh, plant over here, it's getting a lot taller. It's almost at, as tall as me. And here's some other raspberry plants. Um, you can see the fruits are coming up nicely. A lot of them are looking really full. So yeah, the raspberry harvest is going to be very bountiful. Here's more fruits. Rhubarb, not too much to talk about really. And then all the crocus you can see are dying back now. And I've put the dying back uh, bulb plants over here. And while I was uh, putting them away, I found this crocus seed pod. Um, the quarter is a size reference, obviously. But yeah, you can see the seed pod contains probably five to six seeds. And yeah, I dried them and stored them away. Here we have the potatoes. Um, you can see the plants are a lot bigger now. Um, I contained them by this tomato cage so they don't go everywhere. I also cut off the flowers they're producing so to make sure uh, they focus all the energy on uh, potato formation. The artichoke, you can see the center stem is actually getting taller. So that means only one thing that's going to flower. And here you can see this tiniest artichoke. It's so tiny, I don't even know how to eat it. But at least I have an artichoke going. Here we have the tomato. You can see at the center of the plant some flowers forming already. It's wasting no time to flower, only even though it's still a tiny plant. And here I have the green onion I trans transplanted from indoor. Hopefully it's going to get bigger. Some succulents. As for the indoor garden, um, right here it's the new succulent. Looks like it's adapting pretty well. Snake plant. And here we have the orchids. You can see right here this yellow uh, leaves are yellowing actually and that's because this branch over here is broken it was actually broken a long time ago and it has just uh, recently started to turn yellow which is interesting but nonetheless it's still sending out new growth and this is the other same same orchid right here we have the lady slipper orchid you can see the new leaves coming up nicely Down here we have a few more orchids, the mini Oncidium, and this one, forgot the name, and then this other one, and this other one over here, you can see the roots coming up from the bottom, and then this over here, it's also producing a lot of new roots. This is the second mini Oncidium. Over here we have the Philonopsis. Um, I broke the stem again. Fortunately, it's above the node that was uh, swelling. And also, you can see a lot more roots developments on the Philonopsis. Here we have the Stackholm Fern. It's still producing a lot of new leaf, as you can see. Well, this one looks like it's going to die. I don't know. It's not producing any new leaf, so that's a bad sign. This other orchid is doing well. Right here, we have the Easter cactus, you can see it's still sending out lots of new leaves. Here we have the string of pearls. Um, it's actually still having aphid issue, so I washed it again. Hopefully, it's still, uh, hopefully they're gonna go away. Just more succulents over here, and this one over here, you can see this new plant what? is actually getting way bigger than the older plant. Here's some baby plants from the petal plants. Here we have the plants on water. 
And for the hanging plant, this Hoya plant over here, um, if you look closely at this node, it's producing a new leaf and a new stem um, to the right. And this other node is also producing some new leaves. Over here, we have the spider plant, still, still sending out a lot of new flower spikes nonstop. I tried to find a flower spike for you, but can't. Here's the prayer plant. Um, as you can see, it's producing some new leaves, and it's also producing a lot of new flowers over here. And lastly, we have the prayer plants that I propagated. You can see a lot of new roots coming up. 